So I mentioned it's become the year of the remodel. What do I mean by that? Well, 46% of the waterfront Lake Martin market in 2017 is priced under $500,000. So um, where that is a significant chunk of money to put into a lake home, whether you're gonna be here part-time, full-time, maybe use it as an investment um, uh, opportunity, uh, people sometimes suffer from sticker shock when they first come to look at houses here. Well, I sort of wanted to take the opportunity to uh, highlight these old, outdated, decrepit, uh, generational homes that often, like I mentioned, get overlooked. Um, when you are in town or when you're buying somewhere that is not in a uh, waterfront market, I want you to focus on the house, of course, the square footage, the number of beds and baths, uh, you know, parts and pieces of the inside, the four walls that you're investing in. But when you come to Lake Martin, it's my job to educate you about buying the water. And most of the time, you want to invest in the most waterfront footage and that maybe has the longest, prettiest view that you can afford in water. What does that mean? Well, think about it. Uh, we Real estate really started popping up on Lake Martin in the 1960s, 1970s. And so it just makes sense that some of the oldest homes have the prettiest primo lots. So today's buyer is a lot of times used to, if you can't find what you want, let's just go build something. Well, um, and we can do that for you here on Waterfront uh, Lake Martin as well, but we do need to remember that when you're purchasing a waterfront home, uh, some of your initial significant costs are gonna be on your seawall and pier. Um, when people come in, they're sort of trying to figure out our inventory and you know, uh, houses in general in a certain price range, you gotta remember that uh, this market was booming with new construction spec homes up until 2008. And then there was no new construction built between 08 and 13. And when builders started coming back to life and consumers started feeling more confidence in their market, the homes that were being built on our shoreline were probably being custom built for a client who already had an existing lot that they owned. So it's, um, it just makes sense that a lot of homes now are going more back to let's use the Primo lot Let's use the four walls that we may already have as a family home or that we can get at a less expensive initial investment. And let's make it as great, if not better, than new construction.